Has this ever happened to you that when you are eating a food at home, you are completely fine? Like you are like, okay, fine. Like you don't even think about it. But when you go to a five star restaurant with your girlfriend and then you're eating food, then you all you have all the pressure that you have to hold the knife in the right hand. You have to hold the fork in the left hand, right? You don't have to spill the water. You don't have to be so loud. You have to like clean your mouth when you take a bite, right? You don't have to make a sound when you're drinking coffee. You have to be quiet when you're drinking coffee. So when you are just eating in a five star restaurant, you can feel the performance anxiety. You can feel this feeling creeping inside you. What's up? My name is Rahul and you're watching Menoverse, a conversation for men. So in the previous video, we talked about what value is to human beings. We talked about all the things that are valuable. We talked about all the things and all the ways that you can make yourself high value. Now in this video, I'm going to take this conversation a little bit deeper. If threat is anything that gives us pain, negative emotions and death and danger, then value is anything that takes you away from th threat. Okay. So let me repeat that again. We talked about in the previous video, we talked about what threat is. Okay. Because if we want to understand value, we have to understand what value is not and what value is not is a threat. So threat equals danger, threat equals bad and negative emotions, threat equals pain and threat equals death. So these are the things that are threatful to us. Okay. Now, whatever is not threatful, whatever is taking me away from this threat or whatever helps me run away from this threat and run towards life and run towards success, run towards thriving, run towards my personal growth is value. So value in a very philosophical terms is whatever takes us away from death or whatever helps us run away from death. So if you are talking to a girl and uh, you know, if you are out, let's say if you are out and you are trying to build your social life and you're trying to build your dating life. But if you come off as a uh, you know, too nice or too polite in front of them, then what happens is this is what they think. This guy is so nice, so polite that I think that he won't be able to take care of himself if he is left out alone. And if he becomes a part of my life, if he becomes a part of my group, his weakness is going to make us all weak. So if you're a weak, nice guy, then people are not going to like you. Why? Because they don't want you to be a part of their group and fuck up their group also. They want strong people to be a part of the group so that even if something bad happens, everybody in the tribe or everybody in their group is uh, capable enough to fend for themselves. But a nice guy, a guy who is too scared, a guy who is too anxious, a guy who is too fearful, a guy who is too weak, who is too nice and too polite will not be able to do that. So this is the reason when you are talking to other people and you're being too nice, people don't like you or people don't want to be a friend. People don't want you into their life because if you come into their life, it's like you will be making the entire team weak. Okay. So I am I'm pretty sure that you have heard this dialogue. You have heard this saying, which is uh, one bad apples ruins the entire lot or one bad fish in an aquarium makes the entire aquarium go bad. Something like this, right? So this is the reason people only want strong people and people only want, want other people like them or other people who are better than them to be a part of their group. And if you're not providing it, then you are taking away value. And if you, you are making the life of the entire group as a whole, a little bit bad, right? And nobody wants to take their chance. So this, was about value and threat in a very philosophical term. So if you're strong, if you are speaking yourself, if you're speaking your true feelings, if you're speaking your true thoughts, right? If you are bold enough to not be scared of what other people think of you, if you take that risk, then other people are ironically going to like you. 
the less you care about other people liking you or other people you know uh, being nice to you the more other people are ironically going to like you this is the paradox and uh, when you are forced learning pickup when you're forced learning game or when you're forced trying to build your social life your dating life this is one of the best advices that somebody can give you be bold be aggressive be dangerous be fucking yourself right accept your flaws accept your strengths and be yourself to the fucking core right say what you want to say speak what you want to speak okay say whatever you are feeling speak out your real original thoughts do what you want to do right look at a person the way you want to look at them not the way you think they want you to look at them you will never be able to know what is going on in somebody else's mind the best thing you can do is be yourself as well as you can now this is again like you know uh, peeling off layers from an onion you will not just snap your fingers and start being yourself right one day you will not just wake up and like I have to be myself now I am myself you are not going to be like this what will happen is you will have to remove layers from your personality you will have to go out get more experience get more exposure you will have to get rejected a couple of times you will have to face through approach anxiety you will have to see what uh, what the world really has to offer you'll have to understand where do you stand in that world and then only you are going to find your real true self so don't be scared of a painful moment because a battle if you survive a battle it will only make you stronger right whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger so if you go out and if you start socializing with people when you come home that is only going to make you better that cannot take away anything from your life it does not matter how many people hate you it does not matter if you were at the top of your game or not it does not matter where you are doing amazing where you are you know like attracting the nines and the tens it does not fucking matter what matters is you are brave enough and you are strong enough to go out and take action even in the face of fear even in the face of anxiety so be strong be bold be dangerous be yourself right there is a part in you which is an animal which is a beast right there is a part of you which is an animal which is dangerous right like god and evil exists in all of us angels and demons exist in all of us it is just about the surrounding it is just about how you take care of yourself how you nurture yourself how you grow yourself will define who you will be in the future right so understand that there is an animal in you there is an alpha male in you there is a beast inside of you and you have been ignoring it you think that if you let this beast out people are not going to like you people are not going to respond well to you right you are just trying to be a people pleaser you are just trying to impress everybody right you are performing in front of everybody and performing once is fine but performing for your entire life sucks right if you are living your life if you are living your entire life from the mindset that you have to perform then you'll be very fucking tired at the end of this man you'll be extremely tired this is the reason a lot of people they're not happy with their life because they are performing from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed they are performing the only time they are real is when they are taking a shit or when they're brushing their teeth or when they are you know trying to take a fucking shower and when they are you know sitting alone in the room that is the only time they are being real the rest of the time they are performing and the more you perform the more you spend your mental energy right impressing people and trying to be nice to people is a way of performance you get anxiety because you are trying to perform if you have decided that okay this is me this is who i am and i'm going to take go out and say what the fuck i want to say do what the fuck i want to do you will not face anxiety you will be like if you like me fine if you don't like me fine i don't really give a fuck i'm just expressing myself then you're not going to face any anxiety you're like fuck it i don't want anything from you guys right i don't want anything from you i don't need anything from you what matters is i'm going out and taking action that's it if you come from this place if you don't come from performance from the place of performance but you when you are coming from the place of expression from the place of you know giving when you come uh, coming from the place of being and doing 
you're not facing that, right? For example, if I, uh, you know, has this ever happened to you that when you're eating a food at home, you are completely fine. Like you're like, okay, fine. Like you don't even think about it. But when you go to a five star restaurant with your girlfriend and then you're eating food, then you all you have all the pressure that you have to hold the knife in the right hand. You have to hold the fork in the left hand, right? You don't have to spill the water. You don't have to be so loud. You have to like clean your mouth when you take a bite, right? You don't have to make a sound when you're drinking coffee. You have to be quiet when you're drinking coffee. So when you're just eating in a five star restaurant, you can feel the performance anxiety. You can feel this feeling creeping inside you and we want to avoid this. Okay. So be bold, be fucking strong, be okay with success or failure. As long as you're doing the right thing, as long as you are expressing yourself, as long as you are being true to yourself, nothing can harm you. So be strong, be dangerous, be aggressive, be bold, go out and express, stop trying to impress, stop trying to live your life in a state of performance. Right now, this is going to be the basic of how to start and uh, how to start going out and meeting people. I hope you take this message positively. I hope that this, you know, reaches out to you. I hope that's, that this is valuable for you and I am going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.